Don't worry, there's plenty uh, on the cutting room floor that didn't make it. And, that, okay. and, you know, that's part of, you know, that's part of the experimentation processes. You know, there's all sorts of stuff that just doesn't work. And I, I tell young composers all the time um, that, you know, you have to be okay with, with letting go of stuff. You know, I've, I've, done, I've done projects where I write 30, 40 minutes of material before the project begins of, you know, ideas based on scripts, based on conversations with the filmmaker that I wind up just wholesale throwing out, you know, and say, okay, none of this actually works. But because I did that, it then gets me to the place I needed to get to, which is certainly different than if I had just waited until the last second or waited until I got a cut of picture and then just started then, you know, I, right. I gave myself, I gave my brain <laughs> the time to, to do, do a little bit of exploration. Um, and then when I do that exploration, it's interesting. Sometimes it's a really solitary process, like with happily where I, I'm just, because that's, a, that's one of the issues. Like I rec I record five minutes of audio at 192 K. I slow it down four times. All of a sudden it's a 20 minute thing. I need to right. like scrub through it. Like, is there anything usable in here? So it becomes this like, almost like a monk you're in the studio, like really just focused on unearthing treasures, you know, trying to find stuff. Other times, like in the case of Spiderhead, I had some really clear instrumentation ideas. But, you know, I've learned the older I get, the it feels like the less I know. You know, as as trained I am as an orchestrator, you know, I, I found myself reaching out to performers and c conductors and people I know say, hey, can I do this on that instrument? What can I do? What And, and same thing with, you know, I'd play things for my music editor and say, hey, this is the type of sound I'm looking for this character. What do you think? And my music editor would give me feedback and say, oh, it needs to be, you know, feels a little fast. Maybe you want to try this. And then, then I'd play it for the director and he'd, he'd give me notes. So I think, you know, it's a willingness, you know, there's the monkish side, which is like you're isolated in the studio, but then there's also the side of like, hey, this is a real collaborative process. Uh, let me get other people who know more than me about certain things to help me get to where and I want to go. In terms of that balance too, because it's almost, you know, the, the exploration side of it feels like, you know, typically if you're, you know, writing a book, let's say as a, a, a parallel to this, the kind of first draft of that is, okay, let's get some ideas on paper. Let's get, let's get the outline of this. Let's start to build out, you know, certain threads, certain characters, certain storylines. Then you start to assemble the bigger thing and kind of start to, you know, flesh it out a little bit more and, and do that level of it. But then it's about kind of bringing that back. You go back and edit, you know, you find all the places where it doesn't work. And, um, and so when you're experimenting with something, it seems like you're doing that whole process in a very condensed way and then you're going on to like using that to inform maybe your writing that comes after that but um where do you find the balances i the reason i ask this is a lot of composers will write something you know something orchestral and um will then have the foundation for their entire score they're they're working with a tool set they're familiar with from the start and then try to maybe add some things after the fact but when you're coming in and trying to establish the colors that you're going to use for a canvas how much of that experimentation is is worthwhile and at what stage do you go man i just got to get i just got to get going and then on you know writing this in some way that i already have under my fingertips you just described <laughs> the team at and the whole process yeah i don't really even need to answer that question no you, you know i think you know there's there's so many layers you're exactly right you know there's i try to go into the score with like almost like a log line, like this character is like this, and like for for instance, Arctic, um, a film like that, you know, this character is alone in the Arctic. The director really likes modern neoclassical string music. How do I make this work? And so my log line was like, I need to write organic um, string material, yet I'm going to alter it in a way that makes it part of our environment. So I did all sorts of stuff like taking strings and reamping them through water jugs, stuff like that, you know? Um, so you try to have these big ideas that then you could point to when things go wrong and say, oh my God, like I'm lost. What am, what am I trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to express how lonely this character is and how he's searching for life. You know, that's basically what it was. And it, it came from a conversation with the director and editor about how the op the film opens with him holding a fish that he just caught and it's moving. It's the first time he's felt something move in a year, two years, however long he's been stranded out here. 
So, you know, you, you hearken back to these original ideas, and hopefully that's like a guiding light for you when you are lost and you're going, oh, my God, I have to just start making music. I just have to start doing this. You know, you try to use that to guide you. But you're right, Matt. There are inevitably points, especially in crazy production schedules where you're just like, oh, my God, I just need to get stuff done. And to me, that's why it's all the more important to have these initial conversations, whatever, like, you know, two, it might be, exactly. It might be two or four years ago that we had that initial conversation. Oh, wow. Okay. But, but, but by the time we're actually like at the end of the project and everything's going wrong and cues are going, getting thrown out, you know, hopefully those original tents, you know, provide you, uh, provide you some guidance.